Australia's not a continent, is it? Asia. Oh. Um, America. South America. Um, America, yeah. China. Japan, Hong Kong, you know, Canada, you know, Africa. Three of the Bill of Rights. Uh, that would be, man, you are picking a hard night for me. Can you name the vice president? Dick Cheney? John Boner. Was John Adams allergic to the peanuts on Air Force One? Yes. Yes. He was. I think that's how he died. Really? Yeah, the peanuts. That's tragic. It is. So Somebody should have been on board making sure, you know, eating the peanuts before he did. Leanne McAdoo, hot. <laughs> Everybody knows that. <laughs> you remember when the Germans bombed Pearl Harbor? 1941. The journey to find some red-blooded Americans continues. <laughs> when we fought Hitler, what war was that? World War II. Thank you very much. You're a true patriot. Of course I am. I'm an American. Are you? John Adams, was he allergic to the peanuts on Air Force One? No. No? No. You finished, but no, that's not my understanding of how he died. Well, we've had some very interesting responses out here mingling with the drunk and brainless, but the jury is still out on whether or not there is any hope for humanity. Now, if you've got some questions that you'd like us to ask these fine folks the next time we're out here leave your suggestions in the comments below info wars info wars on My friends, Alex Jones here to tell you about some of the most important information concerning you and your family's health. Radiation levels have more than doubled in the last 60 years in the Northern Hemisphere from all of the nuclear testing and radiological accidents. Radioactive contamination is now in most of the food supply. There's only two ways to avoid this. Move south of the equator or properly protect your thyroid with nascent iodine. Looking to protect my family, I've done deep research. Nascent iodine is the purest, cleanest, absolute best form of of iodine to protect yourself and your family. It's made right here in the USA, completely non-GMO. I searched out the best quality and now have developed a double strength form of nascent iodine exclusively available at InfoWarsLife.com. Nascent iodine is on record as one of the only safe ways to detox from fluoride poisoning. Survival Shield Nascent Iodine. Secure your super high quality nascent iodine today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Introducing Pro One. All of your filtration in one system, portable, on the go. No more do you have two or three filters to just reduce sodium fluoride. You have a system that cuts out the sodium fluoride and up to 95% of hydrofluorosilicic acid. Advanced manufacturing technology combines silver impregnated white ceramic with new Aquamedics advanced media for removal of fluoride and other heavy metals, all in one filter element. It is the only one that does it and out of the gate, we have it discounted at 10% off with promo code WATER. This is the only system that in one unit helps reduce or remove pesticides, herbicides, chloramines, ammonia, and chlorine, hydrofluorosilicic acid, the most common form of fluoride not covered by other fluoride filter brands, and sodium hexafluorosilicate. Get your Pro Pure with a new Pro One filter today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Well, what's going on in the Ukraine? Certainly the State Department is playing a very dangerous game. We had Victoria Nuland place a call on an unsecured line to the Ukrainian ambassador in the midst of all this unrest and made very, very provocative statements. As Dr. Pachinik said, it was just out there to taunt the Russians, to taunt the Europeans. We also see bankers who are now moving in for the kill, offering $35 billion to the Ukraine country, trying to get them on the hook. But 
Do the Ukrainian people really understand that? Do the American people understand what's going on with the Federal Reserve? Do most of the Americans really understand how the bankers are controlling this country? Well, there is one organization I wanted to talk to, and that was the Ukraine Gun Owners Association. Because on their site, in English, they do understand that the crux of the issue is whether or not people are going to be allowed to have firearms. That's how you tell if you've got a dictatorship or a representative government that trusts the people. So that's how you tell the difference. And that applies in America, it applies in the Ukraine. So we have on the phone George Uchaikin. He's of the Ukrainian Gun Owners Association, and we want to ask him about his efforts to get something recognizing the inherent right of the people to keep and bear arms, to see that right recognized by their government. We want to see what the status of that is, see what the status of firearms in the Ukraine are, and talk to him about the recent troubles. Tell me what the current legal status is of the right to keep and bear arms and what practical obstacles are. You were just telling me as we were talking off the air that there's a European, there's an embargo of European arms. Скажіть, будь ласка, які є зараз статуси легального володіння зброєю в Україні і як це як ембарго європейських виробників зброї стосується цього положення? Доброго дня. Перш за все. Дивіться, в Україні немає законодавства про зброю взагалі. There is no law about concerning law weapon in Ukraine at all. Все що все що відбувається в Україні, а в в, скажімо, в обігу цивільної зброї відбувається тільки на підставі внутрішніх наказів Міністерства внутрішніх справ. All the weapon all the heavy weapon of in the in the Ukraine there is only concerning internal affairs and uh, um, internal uh, laws which uh, we have in uh, in Ukraine in local situations. Uh, відповідно, в uh, будь-який момент Міністерство внутрішніх справ може змінити правила гри. Тобто, uh, ніхто їм не може цього заборонити. Сьогодні ми можемо прокинутись і дізнатися про те, що магазини в наших гвинтівках мають бути максимальною ємністю 10 набоїв. Uh, anytime we can uh, wait for uh, the changes uh, from the uh, Ministry of uh, Internal Affairs uh, concerning this law. So one day we can wake up and uh, know that uh, the magazines in our rifles uh, will have uh, only three rounds or five rounds at, uh, at all. Okay, so when, let me ask you a question. When you say that there is no law, are you saying that there, there, there's no law that protects your right to keep arms, or are you saying there's no law that prohibits anything? Are you allowed to keep arms yeah. now under the current law? В Україні немає жодного закону, який стосується зброї і людей зі зброєю. Жодного. Україна uh, 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 no law at all uh, concerning people with weapon and weapon uh, in general. So you are free to have weapons and the Ukrainian people do have firearms, is that correct? Uh, чи, чи я правий, що українці мають право і вони вільні купувати цю зброю і носити і зберігати її? Ми можемо купувати зброю, але все зброю, яку мається на увазі мисливські рушниці і карабіни. Ми не маємо права купити пістолети і взагалі ми купуємо цю зброю тільки тому, що нам дозволяє Міністерство внутрішніх справ. Uh, Ministry of uh, Foreign uh, Internal Affairs allow us to buy only the shotguns and uh, hunting carbines, except uh, pistols and revolvers. I see. So what you're trying to do, and we've seen your English language site, and we know that what you're trying to do is to get them to establish the right of the people to keep and bear arms. We see that in America as a test of whether or not the government trusts the people. Is there a political party there that you think uh, is going to support the right to keep and bear arms being put in the Constitution? Uh, so, um, 
з нашого боку, як англомовні наші партнери можуть допомогти нам ці в цій ситуації. Так, чи є в нас якась політична сила, яка може в нас, в Україні, яка може допомогти нам змінити ці закони стосовно зброї? Наразі є тільки одна політична сила, яка відверто, відкрито підтримала наші зброярські ініціативи. Now we have only one political force, which is supports our Weaponry initiative and law. It's a party of freedom. This is a party of freedom. Усі інші зайняли таку очікувану позицію, яка зараз буде більш хиткою, бо перед перед нашими очима є ті люди, є ті жахливі кадри відеозйомки, які були розстріляні прямо в центрі Європи, в Україні, в Києві. Other forces have uh, their waiting position, which is uh, very unstable uh, in the, <clears throat> so in the, in this time when uh, uh, people were shot uh, directly in the center of the capital of Ukraine, in the center of Europe. Ми розуміємо, що якщо ми цього разу не будемо вимагати по-справжньому надати нам те право, яке в нас незаконно, хтось забрав, ми не зможемо це зробити ніколи. І така ситуація обов'язково може повторитися. So, till we will wait for the moment which we will ask for somebody to change these laws concerning the weapon. So, if we will not do these changes, nobody will do these changes at all. Українці заплатили за своє право володіти зброєю річками крові. Українці заплатили за 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 Improvised weapons, hand to hand with clubs and shields. The reports of sniper fire. What's your take on the use of firearms? Was it was there very much use of firearms on your side or on the other side? Did uh, the the protesters did they have firearms? We see people who are fighting with improvised weapons, with bullets and shields. Ми бачили застосування снайперської зброї з, 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 з однієї сторони. Як ви можете прокоментувати, прокоментувати цю ситуацію? З якої сторони? Мабуть, з сторони влади, наскільки я зрозумів. Дивіться, незважаючи на те, що в Україні на руках українців на легальних підставах знаходиться достатня кількість зброї, ми все ж таки розраховували, що до такого нахабства, до такого безгузя і до такої жорстокості не дійде. So uh, Ukrainians have uh, quite a lot of uh, weapon uh, and by their arms, but uh, we didn't accept that uh, uh, it will be the situation will uh, be the same uh, situation will uh, go out of the control. So uh, We, we didn't even expect this situation uh, uh, that uh, police will uh, use uh, firearms against uh, people with the improvised these clubs and shoes. Let me, let me ask you then, uh, you said that basically the current status of firearms, just to clarify, because I have a little bit of issues with the, with the translations, just to clarify, right now you predominantly just uh, have hunting weapons that you're allowed to have, is that correct? And, and did you say that you were allowed to have pistols or not allowed to have pistols legally? Скажіть, будь ласка, щоб зробити висновок, тобто ми можемо володіти тільки мисливською зброєю, без ніяких пістолетів, револьверів, тощо. В тому є проблема. Українці можуть придбати мисливські карабіни і мисливські рушниці, але вони не можуть носити з собою пістолети і револьвери. А пересування містом з автоматом Калашникова в цивільній версії не є доречним. 
can only by um, um, hunting weapon uh, and uh, no uh, pistols and revolvers at all. And the uh, movement.